How in the bloody hell are you all? I hope you're extremely well. Let's keep going. Are they holding a vigil for him outside of his house? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Kind of looks like a Rorschach test on that. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Take the alleyway. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm intrigued by this game completely. I'm in. I'm about two hours plus into this game now, so I'm just blown away by so far how good this game is. Well, not uh, to the point where I, like, I'm shocked by it, I'm just, it's a great game. Alright, what do we do now? He's not wearing a seatbelt. Oops. I pressed R1, R1, not R2 there. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. Alright. Oh god, that... No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. Why am I going so slow then? I... I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. He's got like, um, agoraphobia. Whoa, that's cool. The ads are still scrolling. I'm just gonna knock everybody over. Jason! Dad! 
Oh, there's a chair there. Jason! I see the balloon. Dad! Jason! Whoa. Did, did he come back at me or? Dad! Oh, he's over there. I guess maybe he was leading us to there. Uh. Line 18, box number 3. Alright. That was kind of like the, um... Uh, the sequence in the police station from Fahrenheit with uh, the cop when she goes down into the uh, the records room. Okay, go back. So sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And what was it? Line eighteen, number box three. number three. Right near it. One, two, three. Turn that way. You'd think that'd be a detail the police would release that, you know, the, the locker thing and whatnot. Unless it's something that's fairly new. I mean, that cop didn't really see, or the investigator didn't seem to know about it, so. It's the same shoe uh, box and everything, too. like a puzzle or a game that the killer is doing. Alright. Um. A shoebox? What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? Medicine cabinet. Uh, let's wash our face. I could just imagine if they remade um, Fahrenheit to be. Um, graphically and whatnot as good as this like Fahrenheit was good for its time um, but it's most assuredly dated um, by today's standards, by this game's standards to say but it's dated in a charming way not in um, uh, a terrible way gone a phone Box. Gonna phone origami lizard. Four, two, 
want. Um, are you prepared to show your courage to save your son Joe's garage parking lot for? Okay. So this is definitely some sort of game the uh, killer is playing. Help! Dad! Sean! Where are you? Holy crap! I'm so cold! Dad! Dad! I've worked on the fees. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters build an address. Ah. Um. Under there. Leave it on the on the table, which would be stupid. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Um. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Uh. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about ten square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Uh, calm. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Uh, go for a reason. Uh, reason. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? 
Go for it. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. I knew that would happen. There is now. There's Roddy on the wall. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. And there's a religious icon on the wall. A lot of religious icons. Jesus Christ. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. A lot of medication. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Um. Bathroom. More medication. And multivitamins. Nothing there. All right. Shouldn't they be wearing gloves? Well, I know the cop is, but the FBI agent isn't. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. a lot of uh, icons. Oh. It's the Bible I've had. Didn't say. Back in the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something else in this bedroom I missed. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. The guy's taking a break from reality, hold up here in this crazy apartment. Check out the kitchen. Right. He doesn't clean his dishes too well. Alright, uh, I think we're done. Okay, what the... Can't leave? Well, what else is there to do? I saw that. Music's gone quiet. Oh, here we go. We just had to wait, wait him out. Good timing, Nathaniel. 
Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh... Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Guess that pays the rent. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and That's find enough. new prey, Leave doesn't him he? alone! He needs more and more. No. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He told you to go and find Carter, that kid in the park! Shit! The Are voice you out of your mind? You all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them better. Just stand down and leave Blake to it. Him. Isn't that right? Oh. No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Oh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! Uh, psychology. You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I. I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. He wasn't the killer, I bet, but he was extremely dangerous. I don't think there was a way of coming out of that situation. Oh, blunder. Thanks for that. Unfold the movement slowly with the right stick. Um... Yeah, I'm going to make this a shorter video. Have a good day where you are. Stay cool, stay chill, stay safe, be awesome. I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.